<laughs> let's uh, let's get back to the music. Mm. Give me the give me the phases, uh, the many phases, you know, mm. uh, many. Give me the phases of Prince as you, as as you would as as a, a person who follows Prince for a long time, as you would call him. You know, let, 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 let's let's start with with, with the. Um, well, let me say this. Remember, he starts with an afro. He ends with an afro. That's I a just, very good, a very good circle. Uh, yes, yeah, very good I circle. Because if you really this. have to, really look at the first album cover for you, to realize that he has an afro, because it's dark. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't know if that's a. He consciously did that to kind of, you know, not because the second album, his hair is processed. So it's like, you know, and then the whole thing about am I black or white, am I straight or gay, that whole thing. And he, he would tell, tell some of his artists, don't give them everything. Give a little mystery there. So that you know, well, what is he, black or white? He told one interviewer, he's half black, half white, and half Irish. Three halves. <laughs> yeah, you know he messes with They say he had a wicked sense, sense of humor. He would have but, a wicked sense of humor. But, I definitely but see but that. Let's, let's do, I, want, I, I really want to do these, knock down these phases. Okay? Mm. Let, let, let's say the first, let me just call them, I, I want to call it the R&B phase mm -hmm. or the black phase, right? Okay. Um, Even that, though that, I would that, disagree that, with that a little bit because, yeah, yeah they was in that genre, but he was doing stuff. If you listen to, like, Bambi is not really an R&B record. Yeah, I got you. Or I'm Yours yeah. or some of the stuff he did. On those uh, on those first two albums, Dirt, when you were mine, yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah. It kind of you know we're still in that. And his when as he evolved, we say okay like 1999, with Little Red Corvette. It's rock, but it's not like metal rock. It's the it's not the rock that makes your ears bleed. Mm -hmm. It's it's harmonic rock. It's it's musical. He always kept it musical. If he was doing something off tone, it's just he was messing around. See, but, but, but uh, just to stay with this thing. Mm -hmm. So let, let's say from from the beginning until the the next phase would be. I, I wouldn't stop at controversy, but I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep on going mm -hmm. to uh, to 1999. Right. Okay. Then then strangely enough, I would say 1999 to Purple Rain is a separate. Category. It is separate, okay. and you can almost okay. I would say that okay, the first two albums, then you can say Dirty Mind is a little different, and then with Controversy to 1999 to Purple Rain, you could see a yeah. That's like a, you can call that a trio almost. Yeah, exactly. All right. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. And then, and then, and then of course, left yeah, turn. Yeah, then, then, the then, world then, then you got the rest of the world. But, but that's also, remember, he's influenced by the people around him because at the time, uh, his girlfriend or somebody, his girlfriend's sister was into the Beatles, and so, you know, he went off on that on that trip for a George second. George Clinton said it yeah. was the Beatles. Prince said oh, I wasn't the Beatles. To me, it was like, you got so big, it's like the Beatles. Yeah. You know, and obviously he had the Beatles thing in there. It's funny because uh, one of the funniest jokes came from Cedric the Entertainer. He said, if you find yourself as a black person Singing all the lyrics to Raspberry Ray, you need to check your blackness. <laughs> <laughs> well, hilarious. Well, but at the same time, you're stretching. But I understand where yeah. he's coming from. He now, says that. now here's the really interesting. Mm. My favorite phase. Sorry to say to admit. No, this, you don't have to say it. It's just your phase. Your phase. Is, is, is the is the parade phase. I like the style. Right. I like everything about the, the uh, not too much into the ties but I mean the mm. style mm. everything that was happening the groove everything about that don't get me wrong to me sign of the times is the best okay I I'll, I'll, I'll admit that right off right. but the phase that I like I was just not being to like the most was the mm. perp was was the parade, parade. phase now so, so just tell me about these phases to, you know am I correct with these phases Let me put that. I would agree with you with the phases and in fact the show the superstar show with purple rain but if you look at it artistically, Parade was actually a better concert than Purple Rain. Purple Rain, don't get me wrong, it did its thing, it was a, but in terms of musicality and the show and the quality, Parade was actually a better show. You know, had the three dancers, Jerome Wiley and Greg, he was doing those James Bond, people say he wasn't playing the instruments much, but as a showman, he was doing his thing and he expanded it with Wendy, with Lisa, with some members of uh, 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 some of the, um, the family and the time, family and the time doing and their whole it. thing. And I didn't think the movie was terrible under the cherry moon. I think it was a terrible movie. Mm -hmm. Clean, you know, cut the hair, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Suits and everything. And, um, you know, I mean, uh, that that was a you know, cool phase. I remember listening to the NPR and so, oh, he was in the every shot. And I'm thinking to myself, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It's just well, the, the, the thing the thing about Under the Cherry Moon, if you mm. could tell, 
that Prince should never, he could, if he would have directed it, he shouldn't have been the star of it because you can tell the star that was supposed to have been Morris and he was acting like oh, Morris. Oh, yeah, okay, right, he was, right. If you really watch right, 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 it, right, he's old, acting as if, right. he's not challenging, but he's acting, imitating right. Morris acting, right. you know, Morris Day. So there, there's a, there, well, I want to get off on that. Prince, my there, boy, yeah. but as you said, but you said, I don't know if he can act. I don't, I don't, well, somebody, Electrify Mojo asked him, what's the difference between a great album and a great movie? He said nothing. That's a problem. Yeah, he did. That's not true. <laughs> That's a problem. And Prince, you, Prince can act. Yeah. And I love him. Yeah, I love That's him my too. Boy, but, but you, no, you can no, act. No, no. In fact, in fact it, <laughs> here is so his acting is so bad. Let me put it this way: the kiss that he does. It's a terrible kiss. <laughs> it's a terrible kiss. It was a horny toad kiss. <laughs> even, even, even the kiss on the cheek with 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 with, with uh, Wendy or Lisa, whoever it was, you know. Oh, in, uh, in the Purple Rain. Yeah, in Purple. That's that's the the, the one he did with Apollonia, or whoever. That that the terrible. This is not. This is under the cherry moon, same type of thing. It's not that. Right, but right. but let's let's leave that alone for a second. <laughs> the, uh, so now we have under the cherry moon. That's that. I would, What's the next phrase after that? Sign of the Times. Sign of the Times. Uh, sign what, of the times, what, right. Okay, okay. And then Sign of the Times. That's it. Right, but no, no, no. But then it was like he was getting a lot of criticism. You're leaving your black roots behind. You're not black. But, well, he's not black. not a black guy. Sign of the Times is very black. I know. I know it's Forever very in black. my life? I know. Forever in my life? But that's, you know what it is? That's the ignorance of society that because... I haven't heard he, that, to tell you the truth. Um, hadn't sure heard what? That they wasn't... Yeah, I hadn't heard that criticism. No, because that was, that, that's why the Black Album came out. That's why the Black Album was conceived, because he was getting criticism that, man, he's not, this is not black, with the with black songs, da 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 That's why he planned to put out December 1st, 1987, planning the Black Album. Then he said, really? Wait, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. That's when he pulled it back. Mm -hmm. So the whole history, that's where the whole, um, the whole, the, the legend of the Black Album. And the next one he did was Love Sexy. Yeah. It went all the way down, let me go all the way up yeah. with my, that whole thing. But as you said, Sign of the Times is like, and originally Sign of the Times was supposed to be a triple album. Mm -hmm. Crystal Ball was the original incarnation. But Warner Brothers is like, ah, oh, triple. I don't know. And it's a little thing, because I'm a big Stevie guy, too. Mm -hmm. Stevie on the Songs of Key Life had 21 songs. Mm -hmm. Crystal Ball had 22. One more mm -hmm. than Songs of Key Life. Eventually, he went it down to Sound of the Times. Great album. And he did Love Sexy. I think he was going to do an album called Ravens of Joy Fantastic after that. But then the Batman thing came around. Ah, uh, yeah. So he did the Batman thing. Leave us not forget Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything about Batman. All right. Just leave it alone. But then Graffiti Bridge came out after that. That was going to probably be more of a spiritual thing from Love Sexy, Batman, mm -hmm. Graffiti Bridge. Which was, which was, a, which was a, 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 a decent movie. Great. What? Graffiti Bridge was. Did a, you think it was a decent movie? I know it was decent. Let me, let me, let me this put is that, a revelation coming let, from let, you, let, sir. Let me, let me put it this way. I don't mean it as a decent movie. As 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 the as the music and the and the, the whole the music the the, was the, good. The, the, the 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 thing like that. Even though I think the Sign of the Times was one of the best. Movies. Oh, I I would say maybe that was the best because he was doing what he it does. He does. That's, that's right. That's right. You know. But I remember during the summer of 1990, you said oh, the movie's gonna suck. Graffiti Bridge. That's why you say that. Yeah. I said you can't edit a movie. Yeah. On a videotape while you're That's touring right. and you're yeah, yeah. and you were right. When, 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 yeah, but when I say that, I, I mean, I, maybe I, I misspoke. I don't mean it as a movie, but the 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 the, the, the convention. Let me put it, the convention, how what they was what he was trying to do with the music versus maybe it should have been a video, extended video. That was only the, 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 the only saving grace was the, the video, like tick tick bang. Yeah. I mean, if you listen to the song, you listen to look at his performance. The performance, of, ooh, yeah. and the performance is kind of made. That, in fact, I mean, at the time they they said, well, like you said, you need professionals to work with you. Yeah. But you know, when you get to that stage, it's like. You know, whatever I say goes. Sometimes yeah. you get yes people, and it's hard to challenge. He was a he was a late bloomer in that sense because he kept on. To me, he kept on uh, uh, surrounding himself with people. That, I mean, Maceo and them didn't come till much later. By the time he got to Maceo Parker right. and, and he and got Barry to Glenn Graham. Graham, then he was at he was at he, he was already a legend. He, 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 but he was at confidence that he was with them. Right. He, right. I think he was intimidated to be with somebody like that early on. Let me put it. I that can way. see that. But at the same time, he himself said that. Look, excuse me. When I started out, had people doing jobs that they wouldn't normally do, so he had to like take control, which is a good point. Mm -hmm. And eventually, you can you know, get yourself to the point where you work with other people who know. I mean, he was open, look, 
Miles Davis, listen to Miles Davis, and now on the same level as when Eric Leeds would introduce him to it, or Lisa would introduce him to some classical stuff in different places. His, the, I heard a clip of a concert he did at Paisley Park uh, this year, the when piano microphone, he went through the part of the song Raspberry Beret that Lisa showed him, it basically was the whole song. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, he opened himself up, and maybe that's one of the reasons why he changed band members so much. Mm. Let me learn from this person. Let me learn from that person. Let me mix it up. The way Miles would change up. Yeah, band well, I think members. that's a different pattern. But what I, what, here's what I really appreciated about Prince. To me, especially early on, he was paying homage to all the musical uh, genres and legends that came before him. Right. And I, I picked up, everybody doing the Jimmy Hendrix, I picked up right away, no, he's doing Carlos Santana. Right. I don't know, you say what the you want about Jimmy. Sound, but yeah, once but, again, but, people, oh, he's black, yeah, he's yeah, Jimmy yeah, Hendrix. Yeah. But, 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 but I'm saying that he did, even to his, I mean, now is the time, is a classic uh, uh, jazz Parker, piece. Yeah, right. jazz. Yeah. So all these, he did pay homage to all the different genres right. before me too. When he had that thing about waiting for the dawn, my thing was like, yeah, he's, he's going, Going, he kept on going, going, and I, I was waiting for the dawn. In other words, mm -hmm. now I'm waiting for the real prince. After you right. paid homage to everybody, after you've done your your research, if mm -hmm. you will, your your all your that you got to do. Now I'm waiting for the dawn. Mm -hmm. When was the dawn, by the way? I mean, when 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 I say the dawn, what I'm talking about? When did he come to be the prince, the prince, that prince guy? It had to be. It had. To, let me put it away. It had to be after Under the Cherry Moon. Yeah, I mean, he did an interview around that time where Alexa Brian Moore just said, you've done everything. He said, not yet. Mm. And I would say, when you say, like, I'm a legend now and there's nothing else I need to prove, is that what you, is that what you mean when you say the prince No, guy? I mean that he came into himself and he's saying, like, okay, now let me, now that I've, now that I've, I don't want to use this word, but I have to, I don't have the right words. Now that I've mastered all the genres, mm -hmm. now who, who am I? What's my remix of all the genres? Now, now that I have, now, now that it's all in me, now I've inculcated myself with all of the genres. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what am I going to release now? What, what am I the, um, uh, what am I the emoter of? Would you say emancipation might have been that? That's interesting. Mm. That's really interesting. I have to tell you this. This is so weird. Because the Emancipation album, now I'm sure it was before that, but I haven't been paying attention, but the Emancipation album has several cuts that he was doing covers of. Right. Bet you Bengali Wow, La 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 Means I Love You, I Can't Make You Love Me. That's a, which is right. a great, a great, uh, right, a, right. a great rendition. Right. But at that, um, I was, I was hanging out in Florida with this, this sister, and mm -hmm. to that album, I wrote these, I, I, I wish I had to write and wrote her, and I used all, I used the songs. It was a really amazing, yeah. amazing. It's, what I'm trying to say, Emancipation was total communication. Mm. So perhaps you're right, the Emancipation, or maybe there shortly after that, I guess you had to pay, uh, the, when, he had, when he had the confidence to do covers, and then That's go on. That's a good on. point, when he had confidence to do covers, because, you know, he's one of these, like, almost like Stevie Wonder, it's like, no, I write and do all my stuff. But it's like, they get to the point where I am relaxed enough in myself to do Betsy Big Ali Wild, to do La 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 Means I Love You, do that type of thing. And also, I think, I, mean, I, I would go back to, remember, in 1994, when Graffiti Bitch came out, you know, in 85, he did an interview, he said, ah, oh, people just compare me and Jimmy Hendrix because we're black, we don't play the same guitar, and it's true, he doesn't really play the same guitar, more of a Santana. Listen to the Purple Rain solo, you see that, that sound, the city's the sound of a musician. But in 1990, he got an American Music Award from Anita Baker, and he was thanking the people who came from James Brown, and he looked up and said, Jimi Hendrix, as if to say, I can thank Jimi Hendrix now, because I'm me, I'm Prince, and yeah, he was a universal influence, even though I never wanted to say it before because I wasn't trying to, I don't play like Jimi Hendrix. He's an influence on what I do, but Santana is more of an influence, but I could say Jimi Hendrix now, and you not think that I'm a clone or just, I might, you know, I've gotten to the point now where, yeah, I'm me and Jimmy's him. We play different. They do play differently, all right? And, you know, Prince a better singer. You know, Jimmy, Jimmy said he couldn't sing. You know he yeah. can sing. And Jimmy but, wanted to learn how to play, how to read music and a bunch of other right. things. Jimmy was, look, Jimmy is like a Jesus Christ figure. <laughs> that, if you really look at him, he was only on the scene about three, four years. That, that people well, say if you time. really look at it, he's only on the scene about three or four right, years. Right, how you could that compare three or four years to three, three or four decades? Right. You can't do it. Right. 
you know, they found, and all, and, you and, know? And, but people like to categorize anyway they like to stick you in these these, these pigeon that's holes that's part that, of what Prince was trying to break the whole category thing mm -hmm. just stick here and do that and that's really a theme throughout this whole artistry that let me do everything I can do mm -hmm. you know Okay, anything else you want to say because my battery is running down? Well, sir, I want to thank you for uh, bringing me to BAI. I want to thank Prince's Artistry for bringing me to BAI. And, um, you know, his music and his spirit will be, uh, is, you know, they say evergreen. I'm saying ever purple. Mm -hmm. Immortal. Thank you, Prince.